Alright, good morning everybody. We are here at Shawnee Park at the site of the Adoption Pond for NADVETS. We have several people to talk to. I would like to thank uh, everyone from Mr. Heights from the Conservatory and from the community also. Uh, when the project is done, which our assignment is to bring this particular location up to have it at the standards of one of the most beautiful sites in the city of Louisville. Uh, the Louisville Loop passed right behind us, so naturally as visitors come and people get a chance to see, we want to make sure that they have something to see that is reflective of who we are in Louisville and in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Uh, the first person I'd like to get is Mr. Heist, the Director of Parks. Mr. Heights. Over this way. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And thank you for being here. Um, you received a phone call one time where I had brilliant ideas <laughs> of building a big monument or something over there. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, with your suggestion, I think the statement you made is, what would you think about a place of reflection? And I thought about that, it's a place of reflection, place of reflection. And you said, yeah, you know, veterans to families to any visitors come in town or what have you. So with that in mind, this is definitely your suggestion. And I bought into it and NABET's members bought into it. Go ahead. Well, I think it's very appropriate. Uh, the uh, Lily Pond here in Shawnee Park has always been one of the amenities that I think everybody has appreciated. I think it's something that needs some attention to it. And I think the veterans adopting it and making it into a, a special place and making it into the, the place that deserves the attention that it should get. And I know that your group is going to do that. Yeah, Shedrick, we, we can get it done. Cedric. Well, I'm sure we are. And so I'm glad that this is getting started. I'm glad that they've now adopted this amenity. And I'm sure that work's going to start on it soon. Yes, and it's going to become a beautiful place in Shawnee Park. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, Cedric. Appreciate you. Rudy, come on up here. All right, this is Mr. Davidson, who is a longtime resident of the Shawnee area. Uh, at one point, he was actually my boss, I think, <laughs> when, when he could find me, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Exactly right. <laughs> uh, 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 I had a mobile assignment, so uh, I'm glad that gas was not as high then as it is now because uh, he would have burned a lot of gas trying to keep up with me. Uh, Mr. Davison, uh, in the process when we started this, I had no idea that it would have flown through that quick, mm -hmm. you know, and through that process. So with the board you served on and your role with the Shawnee Community Organization and a number of other things, it was fantastic to have you as a part of the leadership to make this happen. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, a member of the Olmstead Board and uh, uh, president of the Shiny Neighborhood Association and uh, have continued to be involved in the neighborhood since I retired in 2006. And uh, this is a very eventful uh, event here to add another attraction to the Shiny Neighborhood uh, where people can uh, come and see just what, not only what the park is, but the memorial to the vets. So we certainly appreciate the effort there, Cedric. It wouldn't have happened if uh, you didn't, it didn't start this and initiate it. Well, Mr. Davidson, thank you very much. Um, one of the things, I guess this is as good a time to announce as, as any, on uh, April the 10th, which is the day for the Veterans Annual Image Awards Banquet, you are one of the nominees to receive oh. an award. And that award is basically for veterans who have served and have returned home and continue to serve. Well, I certainly appreciate that. Well, thank, you. thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be there. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Miss <Ms>. Sarah. <laughs> Mr. Jones. Um, my pastor told me one time, if you want to get something done, recruit the women. <laughs> If you want conversation, recruit the brothers. <laughs> well, now, the wait a minute. Olmstead. <laughs> we had a three-hour conversation. Yeah, that's all right. That's quite all right. But uh, 
thank you because your work from uh, helping to educate me, number one, about uh, Olmstead Conservatory and also to graciously inform me of the things that we could not do. <laughs> I had a long list of things to do. <laughs> okay. I think we ended up with about five of them left. <laughs> but uh, I'm very happy to have you, and you do a heck of a facilitation job. Okay, and without you, I, I don't know where this thing would have been. But uh, we'd like to give you a couple minutes to well, we talk about the project. Oh, well, we look forward to working with the NAB vets um, here at the Lily Pond in Shawnee Park. We certainly couldn't do it without our community partners, such as yourselves, and being proactive and going after what you want, no matter what. Um, and I certainly have enjoyed our conversations, too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank I'm you. glad. <laughs> You're very kind. You're very kind. Did we lose somebody? Did you say you wanted that young lady over there? Uh, Mimi? Yeah. Well, yeah why not? Yeah, come on, she's the head of the conservancy. Yeah, she's, she's the person. <laughs> uh, every platoon or uh, group has to have a leader. And it's normally some non-commissioned officer or another, a sergeant, a lieutenant, a, a lieutenant or something. If they're lucky, they get promoted. Uh, we're just meeting this young lady, but Obviously, her rank is not in question because <laughs> everybody kind of likes when it comes down to the final whatever, you know, the word Mimi comes out. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a very sacred word in my vocabulary. It's embedded in here now, and it's for a good thing. It's not for a bad thing. So would you like to share some words with us? Well, I just, uh, there are a couple words in there, Shadrick, that you mis misspoke. One is that I'm not a young lady anymore. <laughs> Secondly, I'm a leader only allegedly. You know, these people, they run the show themselves. I'm just here to show. But on the other hand, we're really, really, really grateful for you to get this going, to really come and approach us and, and Metro Parks and make this happen. You've been a great leader yourself in this whole thing. You've, 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 you've accomplished it. It's really good, and we're so appreciative. We'd love to have adoption partners. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, and the team is who should get the credit. The whole team. Because there was a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails, <laughs> lot of she males <laughs> okay went into making this happen uh, we have laid out uh, some of the things that we hope to accomplish and I assure you with the help of the community and our membership we will make these things happen this will become a place of reflection that is second to none in any community thank you very much and see you next time. Thank you. Good, good. Good job, good job. Right. Being a well-seasoned fellow myself. <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Wallace Garner, so. who is actually the treasurer for the Lowell chapter number 56 of NADVETS. Uh, we had a very humble gathering, started the chapter, received our credentials, and been moving ever since. Being a busy fellow and being a part of the school system and working in church projects and radio and whatever else he does, he always finds time for NAVVETS. So the adoption of this pond and what it's going to do, plus he lives right down the street. So he knows what our goals are and he knows what our aspirations are for this pond. Mr. Donnie, you want to have a few words? Well, this pond is... Uh is a pivotal part of the Louisville Park System to begin with. As you can see behind us, uh, it's a very, it stands for peace. It has a lot of peace. It's something uh, about this pond that's gonna uh, be a pivotal part of the future, especially of NAB vets. One day we'll look back on this day and future veterans will come and they'll come and sit here. They'll, hopefully they'll have meetings and gatherings here at this pond and it has the meaning that we uh, set forth right now. Like I said, this is the beginning of something big. Uh, we're in the process of expanding throughout the state uh, with the National Association of Black Veterans. Uh, Mr. Jones and I, we discovered, well, actually Mr. Jones discovered uh, a few years ago, he called me laughing and told me to go to a certain website and uh, we saw that NAVVETS has been an organization, a national organization, since 1969 where one of our goals is to make sure that no one else stumbles on it by accident, that they actually go to it and discover it 
and join and grow. We are an arm of the Veterans Association, a legal arm of the Veterans Association. So we plan to expand and, and just do things for veterans that haven't been done. Right, thank you very much, Mr. Gunner. Uh, I'm glad I'm standing on this side because the sun is to my advantage. If I was on the other side, you would be creating a shadow and obstructing my presentation. Well, so I thank you very much. For I always me. wanted to cast a large uh, shadow. Yeah, well, you can you do that. You've been doing that for a number of years, but this morning, everybody's in the right place at the right time, yeah. doing the right thing. Right. So as a member, as an officer, and as a friend, I want to thank you, man. I appreciate you.